All right, here beginneth training for Asgard, which my brother Willie got tickets to for September. First hike of the season here at Margaret's, Margaret's hike? Margaret's Way. Margaret's Way. We made it. <laughs> Is this not the end? No. Oh, sh I think it's good to remember that it's okay to stop whenever you need to. Just ignore the pressure from any gazelles you might be hiking with. Look at the scenery. It's very green here. Hello, my radical birdlings. We made it up to the top of Margaret's Way here in this clearing. There is a view around here somewhere called Debbie's View, whoever the hell that is. But for now, this is technically, I think, where the hike ends. And it was a, I'm here with Margaret and Lauren today. Our inaugural hike of the season. And we're gonna cheers with Oh, Manhattan to undo all the work we just did. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Let's talk about the hike. In preparation for hiking season, which is in preparation for Asgard, we've been walking up stairs in Lincoln Park and uh, there's a set of stairs called the Thistle Stairs, I believe, which is also good training. But this is our first outing this summer and uh, the Margaret's Way was pretty good warm-up hike. It was three point... It, six and a half round trip. Six and a half round trip. Starts out with a decent incline and uh, um, it's very green. The path is very well maintained and very easy to do. Thanks to Ruth for the recommendation. Thank you, Ruth Schauble, for the rec. Okay, let's talk about gear. An excuse to go to REI. I need none. I bought many things from there recently. Um, most importantly, shoes. I have weird feet problems, particularly on this right foot. I get some pain around the ball of my foot. And so I'd never really thought about getting properly fitted for boots, but I went in and got these Hoka, Hoka one something boots from REI with a pretty big piece of tread. And there's a smart uh, super feet, a green super feet in them. And it, it makes a huge difference. I'm wearing a, an REI light rain jacket, my foggy glasses, and a bird ensemble fleece underneath and a uh, sort of dry fit Russell t-shirt from Big Five for like 12 bucks. Oh, I have this hot, sexy headband. Do you like me now? These shorts were from REI. Nice, stretchy hiking shorts. Highly recommend those. Um, they're 10 bucks on the clearance rack. Got these graphite poles from Costco for 30 bucks. These Carbon fiber. Oh, carbon fiber. Sorry, thank you. Yep. What is it? Cardboard? <laughs> graphite. Oh, I think graphite. like a pencil. Oh, like, get one of the get a pair of these at Costco for thirty bucks. It's a great deal. REI pack with a bladder. We were hiking for a couple hours. I didn't even need to really drink anything, so maybe I overpacked actually. Having fun? Hey. hey. Yes. Hey. Are you having fun? Uh, every yeah. single day of my life. No. Come on, inspiration. We should hang out. <laughs> You'll want a bigger pack when you pack 40 pounds of stuff. I That's your little day pack. pack. For Asgard. Asgard, excuse me. <laughs> and, um, oh boy. Okay, St. Margaret's Way, give it a shot. Good warm up hike for the summer, even though it's raining. I mean, it will make. I have some regrets to share with you. <laughs> One. I had a sandwich 30 minutes before I started hiking. 
and I felt it slosh around the whole time. Oh my God. Second regret, I should have brought a tarp or something that we could have, no, never mind. Yeah, no, you're right, yes. you're right. Yes, that's right. I think maybe I should have brought some long pants. Oh yeah, and some gloves. My hands are quite cold. So, anyway, let me know what you think I should have brought. See you on the next hike.